we're going to find the area of this shaded region. And the shaded region is bounded by a couple of functions of x and the x-axis. Now, these functions of x are pretty nice, and we know how to integrate both of these functions of x. So what we want to do is we want to do this problem by integrating with respect to x. To make that happen, what we need to do is we need to actually split this region into two pieces. One piece we can call area 1, and the other piece we can call area 2. We can find area 1 by integrating the blue function, 24 sine of x dx. And we need to integrate this from x equals 0 to whatever x value this is right here. Well, the graph makes it look like that x value is halfway between 0 and pi over 2, and I think it actually is. But if you're wondering how to solve for this value of x algebraically, what we can say is this x value is where these two functions are equal to each other. We can divide both sides of this thing by 24, and we're left with where is sine of x equal to cosine of x. There are actually several ways to answer this question, but if you look at your unit circle, your sine value is equal to your cosine value when your angle is pi over 4. So this intersection between these two functions does in fact happen when x equals pi over 4. Now back to the original problem. To find a1, we need to integrate 24 sine of x from x equals 0 to pi over 4. Okay, I suppose we can complete that integral first before finding a2. The integral of sine is negative cosine, and this is a definite integral, so we're going to plug in our upper limit of integration. We're going to subtract, and we're going to plug in our lower limit of integration. Now, cosine of pi over 4 is the square root of 2 over 2, and cosine of 0 is 1. So canceling 24 over 2 and simplifying just a bit gives us this as our value for a1. Now, if we want to find a2, we need to integrate the red function with respect to x from the x values of x equals pi over 4 to pi over 2. And the integral of cosine is positive sine. Plugging in our upper limit of integration, subtracting and plugging in our lower limit of integration. I'll make a little bit of room so we can finish this problem off. We know that the sine of pi over 2 equals 1, and we know that the sine of pi over 4 is the square root of 2 over 2. That gives us that a2 is 24 minus 12 square root of 2. That's actually the same value for a2 that we found for a1 which makes sense because it looks like this picture is symmetric. Finally, the total area of that shaded region is going to be a1 plus a2, and that's just going to be the sum of these two things. That's going to be 48 minus 24 square root of 2. That is an exact answer. If you need a decimal approximation, you can plug that into a calculator. And we weren't given any units, so this is just going to be measured in square units. And that is it for this problem. We're going to find some more areas in the next problem of the day, so I will see you there.